egg breakfast, same breakfast as yesterday, six scrambled eggs and butter toasts, one piece of whole wheat butter toast. It's going to be what I eat all week for breakfast and other meals, just chicken and pasta. Keeping it real simple, same meal every day. And uh, I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to work out today because I have two exams the next two days and I have two different lab reports that I still have to do. And so we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can. Hopefully the stuff just comes to me and I just understand it really, really quickly. But if not, it's just, it's just how it goes. It's life. Life of a college student. What's up, people? So today I didn't get to work out. The gym's about to close in like 45 minutes. I wouldn't get a good workout in anyways, but uh, just today time was not on my side. Spent all day studying for exam and doing homework and getting all that stuff done. I probably only had like two hours where it's just time for me to relax. And so my mind is fried. It would not have been a good workout. I just I would have been really slacking, really lagging behind. So it would have been kind of a step backwards, even if I did work out. But staying on track with nutrition, I've eaten about five meals so far today. And I just got one more to do and I'm done for the day. But uh, I want to show you guys real quick how to uh, prepare your food, how exactly to do it, how to get the right measurements and see exactly uh, how to test how much, uh, how much uh, grams of nutrients you're getting from each serving. So first step you want to do is get a Tupperware container that you're going to cook, have the cooked spaghetti in. For me, I'm cooking pasta. Anything works as long as it's whole wheat, as long as it's slow, low glycemic carbs. So first thing you want to do is get your food scale and what you're going to do is you're going to put the container on there, just totally empty, no lid, no nothing. And as you can see it's got weight on there, it's what, 7.65 ounces. So you want to do is tear that so that way you're not getting the container and the spaghetti, you're only getting the spaghetti, you're only getting the food that you're testing out. So this one, this whole wheat spaghetti. And again, you want to get whole wheat spaghetti. You don't want white pasta. You don't want that enriched wheat flour spaghetti. I explain all that in the nutrition video. If you don't know why, if you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. I explain it all in there. So for this one, if the camera will actually focus, it's got, I have to manually focus. It has, let's see if I can make this thing work. Whatever, but I'll just say it. It's got 39 grams of carbs. Again, sorry, I don't know how to focus this thing yet. And uh, that is with six grams of fiber. So take out the fiber, that'd be 33 net grams of carbs. Net carbs, sorry. Terminology, whatever. And that is 33 grams per two ounces. So for every two ounces, it has 33 grams of carbs and six grams of fiber. Again, I don't know why they count it in uh, uh, the fiber and the carbohydrates. I guess they found that it does some energy for the body. I don't know why, but I mean, I don't even count it in there because I mean, I've never heard of anybody getting fat out of fiber. And I mean, I've seen some studies or experiments where they found like fiber has like 1.6 gram, not grams, but 1.6 calories per gram. So it's not even really worth counting, so I don't even worry about it. So, 33 grams of carbs per two ounces of spaghetti. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it all in the bowl. So just the spaghetti alone, you have 16.5 ounces. We'll just round it to 16, whatever. So that is, uh, so for two ounces, that's how much. That's how much is uh, one serving. Sixteen total ounces in this. Sixteen divided by two. That's eight total servings. So multiply thirty-three grams of carbs per two ounce serving by eight. You get what's the number? Two hundred sixty-four grams of carbs in this entire box. So for all this spaghetti together, that equals two hundred sixty-four grams of carbs, all in that that bunch right there. So to test out how many, uh, how much weight one serving is after it's cooked, because it does change after you, because uh, the weight does change after you put water in it, so the serving size will actually be different too. 
So you have to mark down how, ma how much it weighs when it's dry and then how much it weighs after you've cooked it. After you cook it up, you want to run it under hot water for a little while just to rinse off any oils. <clears throat> just because it helps with the taste, I think, and it also just keeps it from sticking to the container too much, so it makes it easier to get it out. Just makes your job a whole lot easier. Just a little while. I've only been doing it for like 15 seconds, just all in around. Passing it up and down. Getting it all down in there. So, anyway. So, once the spaghetti is ready to go into the container, you want to weigh the container again just because the scale will have turned off and it won't know the weight of the container anymore. So, you want to put it on there and tear it again. <clears throat> After you do that, You want to add the spaghetti to it. All that, all that goodness. So now I'm going to show you how to calculate the total <clears throat> amount of weight that's in one gram of carbs in this spaghetti. I already got all the calculations on paper so you don't have to watch me put down my horrible handwriting. <clears throat> so just going over what we already said, each two ounce serving according to the box is 33 grams of net carbs. Net carbs meaning non-fibrous. Because fiber, I'm not counting those calories, if there are any calories in there. The total weight of that spaghetti when it was dry was 16 ounces. That's how much was in the whole box. So each serving is 2 ounces. The whole box had 16 ounces. That means there's 8 servings in total in there. So the amount of carbs in there is 8 times that number. 264. I already said that. So, <clears throat> after it was cooked... The total weight was 45.6 ounces total, just the spaghetti. Not the container and the spaghetti, just the spaghetti. So this is the weight of the spaghetti after it was cooked. This is the weight of the spaghetti before it was cooked. The difference is how much water was absorbed in there. So only the weight of the spaghetti changed, not the amount of carbs. So you're trying to figure out how many times you're supposed to multiply those two ounces to get that amount how much the weight changed and that's how you get it by doing this you do the final weight after it's cooked divided by the beginning weight when the cook when the spaghetti was dry or any carb that you cook up so spaghetti brown rice sweet potatoes or regular potatoes whatever doesn't matter so to get how much weight is in one serving in those 33 grams of net carbs you have to multiply the beginning weight by that much weight, by how much it changed from beginning to the end. So 2 ounces times 2.85, that number, comes to 5.7. So that's how many ounces is that 2 ounces now. That's how many ounces it is for these 33 grams of net carbs. So from that, just right here, 5.7 ounces, 33 grams of net carbs. We have the serving size figured out. So now, we're trying to figure out how many ounces are in one gram of carb. So to figure that out, we have to, we have to divide the weight of the serving, 5.7 ounces, by how many grams of carbs there are in that serving. So they equal the same exact thing. So that comes out to 0 0.17 ounces per gram. That's how much weight is in one gram of carb. That's how you get that number. The serving divided by how many grams of carbs there are, or any macronutrient that you try to figure out. 
the weight divided by the amount of carbs. 0 0.17 ounces per gram of carb. So I just rounded out to 0 0.15 ounces per gram. It's a very small difference. It's not going to make any difference at all. And I just do that for convenience. It makes things a whole lot easier to figure out than having to multiply this number by however many grams of carbs you're trying to get per meal. So I just keep it at that number so I can get the exact amount on this thing because it only goes for every five. So that's how you get the weight in each gram of carb. And also for each gram of carb, just for that spaghetti, according to the box, it's one uh, gram of protein per four grams of carbs. I just figured that out by dividing the amount of carbs in the box by the amount of protein. So that's how you do that. Hopefully it's not too confusing, but if it is, just watch it over again until you get it. That's how you find out how many grams of carbs there are in each, or how many ounces there are in each gram of carb. So what do I do with that number? If I'm trying to hit a certain amount of carbs, grams of carbs in one meal, say right now I'm trying to hit about 27 grams of carbs for this week, I'm multiplying that number, 0.15 ounces per gram of carb, 27 times. Because the 0.15, that's how many ounces there are for every one gram of carb. So you multiply that gram of carb by 27. That gives you how much is, uh, how much weight 27 grams of carbs is. And it'll give you a decimal point that's not uh, gonna show up on the food scale probably. It's not gonna give you a number that's gonna show up exactly on the food scale. But just round it out to as close a number as you can get. Doesn't matter if it's lower or higher, just round it out to it. So, you would multiply 0 0.15, what I'm doing, multiplying that number by 27, the amount of carbs that I'm trying to get per meal. That number comes out to about 2.55 after you do the calculation. So that's what you do with that number. You do that with any macronutrient that you use, protein, fats, carbs, that's what you do with that. I wish it was a lot simpler, but that's what you gotta do in order to figure it out. So hopefully I made it as clear as I possibly could. If you are still confused, keep watching over and over again, or try calculations out for yourself. I'm sorry this is seeming like a calculus class or something like that, but this is what you gotta do to get this these goals. This is what you have to do in order to get the best results that you possibly can. So commit to it as best as you can, even if you're off by a little bit, a few calories or a few grams of macronutrients, whatever. You're, it's not going to matter that much. Try your best. Try and get as close to the amount that you need for protein and carbs a day, and you're going to get you're going to get the results that you can. You're going to get the best results you possibly can. So currently, my roommate's asleep, so I have to keep my voice down. It is about um, one twenty-five in the morning. So we went to day three already, but it's still day two, I'm saying. So made a quick run to the grocery store. I got some food that I need, and I'll show you guys that tomorrow. Right now I'm just busy studying for an exam. I might not get to bed till like 2.30 or 3, honestly. And then I'm waking up, hopefully by 7 or 8 if I really need it. But it's a... Uh, been a long day. I'm ready for these next two days to be done and over with these exams and these homework assignments. So uh, we'll see what I do. Trying to to handle it all, managing my time well. But anyways, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.